I've been waiting over 10 years for this day. It finally has come, almost like a Christmas present. Um, caustics were implemented into cycles. Yes, some of you might say, wait, there were always caustics in cycles. Yes, but not the beautiful caustics. So now they have real, real caustics in cycles. So let's jump right into Blender. I'll show you how it's done, how you can do it, how you can play around with this insanely new feature. Um, so, and after that, I'll give you my opinion. So let's hop right into Blender. So first things first, I know exactly you noobs out there are already struggling on this simple step and that's downloading Blender. So I'm gonna show you real quick. We're gonna to go to blender.org, obviously click download Blender, scroll through the bottom, click download Blender experimental. And now you might say, ah, oh, here's everything. No, it's not. We're gonna click patch and we're gonna download the newest patch. And that's where you're gonna find the beautiful caustics. So once you downloaded this, unzip it and you'll have something like this and we're going to click blender.xe so we're in the very very super duper newest build of blender beautiful you did it uh wasn't that hard wasn't it so first thing we're going to check if we're on ev and yes we are we're going to go to cycles of course click gpu and also once you're at it go to preferences and check that you're on op Ticks. You might be on none on default, but go to optics or at least CUDA, whatever you got in your big boy PC. Close it and just render and you'll see it should behave like normal cycles. So we're going to delete everything and I'm going to show you kind of how it's done. So I'm just going to create a plane. This is a floor. Now I'm going to create a sphere. Nothing crazy here. I'm going to use smooth shading. You probably would have done the same. Now I will use a sunlight just like this. And now the caustic style settings will come. Um, first thing, we're gonna probably make this ball glass. So I'm just gonna use the glass shader. And I guess it doesn't really matter what type of floor, but I'm just gonna use a simple diffuse floor, wherever diffuse is. I'm just gonna click D because I'm blind. Uh, we're gonna make it dark. And now, first thing that I actually missed, though, maybe turn down roughness of the glass on the light source, you have to enable caustic light. Otherwise, it's, yeah, I guess not a caustic light. Next, we're going to go to the plane object, go to the object settings, go to shading and click caustic receiver since it's receiving caustics. Now, we probably already assumed we're going to go to the bolts and click caustic caster. And boom, there you have it beautiful caustics and you can already see there's artifacts and craziness you already see this is not working and if you want to see how to crash your pc just create a monkey boy make it i don't know some subdivision make it like this somehow like this give it some i don't know or actually maybe let's use this uh no not specular just zero roughness just standard glass with the principal shader and then we're gonna click um under the object settings click um caustics casters and there you have it blender crashed beautiful so you see this is a great feature that works flawlessly um no just kidding um so one more thing I can show you, but I'll have to restart Blender because uh, actually I wasn't kidding. I did break Blender. Almost done. No caustics. Yes. Now you would go to the light source, but wait, there's no light source. Yes. You go to the sky settings and here you can go to settings, I think, and caustic light. And there you have it. Beautiful caustics. Yes, it looks pretty cool. But what I didn't show is that I had... I had a lot of bugs, uh, so many bugs that crashed and this didn't work and that didn't work. And also one thing that really didn't work was a uh, Chrome caustics. And I personally, that's pretty much the only time I use caustics. I never really work with water or glass that much where I really need caustics. Um, I just need caustics on Chrome rims. That's what I need. Um, and this I guess still doesn't work. Um, I assume it probably will come if they're already starting going in this direction. Uh, this will probably all follow. Like it's just still like a super new feature. Um, but at this moment, I was actually really hyped. I was really hyped uh, making this video until I started playing around with it and realized this is actually pretty like a useless feature, uh, to be honest, at this time of day um so today uh in the future is probably great um so i won't be using it i can't use it in anything it's way too buggy of course it's very new um so yeah great feature theoretically uh but still it's really 
in the beginning, um, but I hope that in the near future, it's gonna actually work and you can actually be using it in productions and just imagine this in animations, it's gonna be insane. So I can't wait for this feature to come. Also, I saw there's actually quite a, a few new, pretty cool uh, Cycles features. So Cycles is really getting better, finally getting more professional. Finally, I know everyone says, wait, Cycles is already super professional and better than everyone else since 10 years. I don't agree. I still think Cycles is really lacking in a lot of features. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion, I guess. So let's see what will come. Definitely great sounding stuff so far. Um, and yeah, that's it for today. And I guess uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. So goodbye. Thank you.